All right then, I just wanted to to give a message. Uh, Hans is going to Germany in April to hopefully play. It's not sure yet because he, he made an entry uh, and uh, since he doesn't have a category on the you know, uh, Echo Tour, so it's up to uh, having a sp spot uh, for him. Uh, it's not a uh, entirely you know, a sure thing. But he will travel there with a friend and uh, hopefully he will be able to enter in that competition on the Echo Tour and we will find out what he can do. Now it's not ideal, right? He spent uh, hours on the range uh, hitting on mats, cold weather, it's been like below zero still in Sweden, all over the country actually. So he can't practice on grass, so he will go down there uh, hitting balls on grass. Uh, not on ideal preparations, putting, short game, everything else, right? But however, he will be able to at least go down there and practice and play a few rounds. So even though he might not get into the competition, doesn't matter because I get my numbers and I love those. I love the numbers because then I can decide, you know, what to do, uh, what to tweak, uh, improve, you name it, right? That's what I'm doing. So if you're a tour pro, that's what I'm doing. We want something more, you know, uh, easy to do, more, less complicated, more simplicity. I'm a big fan of simplicity, by the way. And uh, the reason for that is that, you know, if you have a more complicated mechanics or as a foundation for whatever you're going to do, uh, you're going to ha uh, have issues with uh, timing, consistently, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, for example, Tiger Woods, I was watching him play on the PGA Tour last night and, uh, well, basically he's hitting it all over the map. He still shoots a 66, which, which is by far uh, the ability he has to hit it short, because shorter irons you have less, uh, var you know, variance and less variables to count for, and he still puts as it, as it does now. Uh, so that makes him you know, save the situation. But if you talk about hitting a long cross from T and fairway, well, he has a lot of trouble there. So three years, uh, he still can hit it wherever he wants to. So if the you know, uh, arguably by many that this generation's best golfer can't do it after three years, what chance does an amateur have? Zero, basically or less 1% or something like that, very, 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 very small. And that's what I want people to think about, you know. So I'm teaching Hans to do something that's more consistent. So he is, you know, into the impact zone, he doesn't change his attitude much. So he will be, you know, shallowing out at the impact pattern. He may be able to hit the same shots every time. Now, how good he can play, we don't know yet, because I want the numbers. Because I built a superstar. That's what I'm building, you know, in golf, in this case. Someone who has the ability to hit every shot in the book and still make it really simple to hit, you know, the target, you know, fairways and greens. And then we'll see how good he can play. You know, I don't recommend the modern swing setup and address position because the only position I feel really strong about is hitting club right, like with that. And since the swing is, you know, you have to swing it on the swing arc and all that stuff, and have to have a really good reference for where you bottom up in the swing arc, you know, swing depth, you know, all that stuff. I can't say I recommend the uh, on the swing because you have to fight two forces in the downswing, and uh, that accounts for every swing flow you can you know, imagine in the modern swing or the classical swing for that matter. And if you can combine those two forces in downswing into one, like Hans is, you will hit it both longer and more accurate. And I want to say that, uh, hitting it long doesn't matter. I mean, if you can hit it 350 yards, for example, for an amateur who can't do that, that's, you know, whoa, I met God, you know, whoa, I can hit it so far. But hitting it long doesn't man mean you can hit, uh, you know, play golf. Um, because you have to be able to hit the shot in the uh, exact distance you want to hit it. So even though if you can hit it 350 yards, that's man, because if you hit 350 yards and not straight, you know, you're in a bad position now. 
So the question is how do you make it so you can increase the margin for error? And that's what I've been teaching Hans to do, hitting it with more margin for error. That means he will have more uh, simplicity in this game and he will be able to score lower. And then I added something about the RBIM technology I, I use in how I study performance in athletes. And he has a plan, um, and we will see how we can execute that plan in Germany. Either it just will be practice rounds or in the tournament. Anyhow, I'll be excited to hear from him and learn how to play. Anyhow, yes, I want to make a video, a small update for, you know, writing is all and good, but it's more fun if you have, a, you know, someone to talk to you. Like me. Anyhow, over and out for me, and we'll 